Article 13. The providence of God and His government of all things. We believe that the same good God, after He had created all things, did not forsake them or give them up to fortune or, uh, or chance, but that He rules and governs them according to His holy will, so that nothing happens in this world without His appointment. Nevertheless, God neither is the anod is the anodic of nor can be charged with the sins which are committed. For his power and goodness are so good and comprehensible that he orders and executes this work in the most excellent and just manner, e even then when devils and weak men act justly, act, act unjustly, and as to what he does surpassing human understanding, we will curiously inquire into further that our, that our capacity will admit of. But with the greatest humility and reverence adore the righteous judgments of God, which are hid from us, contending ourselves that we are purpose of Christ, in learn only those things which he has created to us in his word without transgressing these limits. This doctrine affords us unspeakable consolation, since we are taught thereby that nothing can be fall can befall us by chance, by but by the direction of our most gracious and heavenly Father, who watches over us with a paternal care, keeping a, giving all creatures giving all creatures so under his power that no hair, not the hair of your of a heart, for they are for they are all numbered. No a sparrow can fall to the ground with the will of our Father, in whom we do entire to we, we do entire trust, being persuaded that he so restrains the devil and our uh, and our all enemies that without his will and permission they can hurt us. And therefore we reject that we reject the damnable error of the Epicureans, who say that God regards nothing but leaves all things to chance.